Hey guys, so in the previous video I showed how you can uh, create items and then using JavaScript embed them into your HTML so that you can add them to your cart using the local storage as a place where all the data is saved. All right, so in this video we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to uh, create a cart page and then show that data that is in the cart for the user to either manipulate like delete the items and view the total price for all the items all right so most of the code is going to be uh, the same as previously so i'm just going to replicate this to files and name this one cart.html and this one name it uh, cart.js and I just need to change the corresponding values. So that would be cart, cart, and here index.html shop. Uh, just change that as well uh, to carts so I went ahead and created the CSS for the images uh, rather for yeah for the cart item the shop items so this is just basic CSS it's not really that complicated because uh, this video is just showing about the cart itself, so I didn't bother much on the CSS. So I'm just going to go ahead and go live. I'm using VS Code extension code live server. It creates a server for us to be using so that we don't have to keep refreshing our data every time. It does that automatically. I'm just going to close that. And just a tip and a trick that you can be doing when you're doing web development, always have your console on and advisable to use uh, incognito so that you don't have too much cache. So Because especially with CSS, it can be a pain. So yeah, that's something you, you can do on your own, uh, read up on your own time. So yeah, now we can add the items uh, like we did before. And as you can see, I just changed the CSS for the items themselves so that they look like cards. So let's dive into the code and manipulate a few things. So into the cart.js, close that. Now here, we're not going to loop through the cart, we're going to loop through the, uh, we're not going to loop through the products again, we're going to loop through the cart, right? And from there, um, I'm just going to remove some of this stuff, um, just going to change some of the stuff, this to be removed. Because it's going to be removing from the cart. And this is not going to be add to cart. It's going to be remove. Uh, but we're going to get back to this function in a bit. Because it also has a few things that need to be changed. So I'm just going to comment it out for now. Now here, what we're going to be doing is not referencing I itself, but we're going to be, I'm just going to change all of these at once. We're going to be referencing the I item, um, the index itself, but from product, uh, products rather. So this will go into the products array and by the index of which we saved in the cart array and then the corresponding object, right? Now we need to actually give cart its data. So I'm going to say const cart data is equal to local storage dot get item 
and then cart. So this is going to get the cart items from the local storage. And then I'm just going to say cart is equal to JSON dot parse. Because remember, we had to stringify the items before we sent them into the local storage. Now we're parsing them so that they turn back into an array. So cart data. Of course, I could have just put this in here, but that's just for presentability so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And then save that. Yeah, so if I go ahead and go to the browser right now and go to the cart, you see these two items because we only have two items in the cart. I'm just going to go to application so we can see our local storage, which is one and zero as the indexes that we're using. And you can see the items right there. But right now, if I remove, nothing is going to happen. So let's work on the remove function. Now on remove, uh, just going to remove that. And here I'm going to pass in i as the actual item from the cart. And then uh, just going to call it i here. Now I'm going to do a very uh, basic for loop here. So for Here I'm going to say cart dot length. Go call. So this will help us loop through the cart item, uh, the cart array. So if cart at the index of index. Uh, you know what? I'm going to rename this from index to just put it as J. So if cart at the index of j is equal to uh, triple equal sign there, uh, well not one, but i, which is the item that we're passing in as a parameter. So if cart item at index j is equal to that, then we're going to say, then we're going to say that. Uh, cart dot splice j which is the index and one so this is going to delete the item at the specific index of course i'm using a very convoluted way to delete the item from that specific index you can use the cart dot filter function to do this but um, just for illustrative purposes i'm using that and same thing, we're gonna pass in the cart data back into the JSON, uh, back into the local storage so that it can overwrite everything that we had. So remove from cart. Now, what this is going to do is just remove the item from the array, but not from our HTML, right? So to remove the data from the HTML itself, I'm going to pass in the function uh, E as the event itself, and then pass E there. And then down here, just say, uh, just right before the alert, I'm going to say E dot target dot parent element dot remove as a function there so that's just the javascript function as well for removing something from the html so right now we're targeting the button because it's the one that has the event listener and then removing its parent element right so in this case here's the button but its parent element is this product uh, div right so it's going to remove that from the html so i'm just going to save that and then let's see what happens here so if i remove there we go and as you can see in the in the 
local storage here, the item has been removed. And we remove that one as well. And now we have no card data. If I refresh, nothing is showing up. So, so far we can remove. So the last thing I'm going to do is actually show the total price. So I'm just going to create a function here that calculates the total price. I'm going to call it tot. In fact, before I do that, I need to create a, a global variable here. Just initialize it with zero. And I'm going to copy this for loop here because I'm going to change this stuff. Control V. And then just remove everything else because it's not necessary. So I'm going to say, because we're calculating it according to the price. So I'm just going to copy that and say total plus equals that. Right. And then document dot get element by ID total. Of course, we haven't created this total item in, in the HTML. I'm going to do that just now dot inner text is equal to uh, total there we go now we just need to call this function in this in here uh, in the load function and we also need to call it in the remove so that every time we remove an item we actually recalculate the total price. So that's saved. Of course, it's going to give issues because the document doesn't exist. Uh, the, the total doesn't exist. So I'm just going to say total right there. Save that. Uh, it seems we have an error somewhere here. put a slash at the end there so that's gone so now let's go back as we can see the total is zero here so we're gonna go to our shop and just add a few items okay add that okay and we can put cart go to cart so here's the cart uh, where's my total my total is not showing have an error no made a spelling error right Instead of saying total, I spelled it the wrong way. Where did I spell it wrongly? I'm just gonna check here. Uh, cut JS line 40. Ah, okay. There we go. So that should work. So as you can see, our total is 45, and when I remove, Ooh, index is not defined. Uh, remove uh, line 55. Line 55. Right. Oh, uh, made a mistake there. I think I'm just going to remove this line because it's not necessary at this point. You guys get what I'm trying to say. Because basically, I wasn't passing in the index from here, so the index wasn't really pointing to the right item. I, you know, I'm going to put it back. I'm just going to say I, because I is the actual index that we're talking about. So I'm going to refresh that. We should have 33 and remove. Tomato has been removed. Okay. And the total is not refreshing. <laughs> uh, this happened last time I was testing as well. But yeah, you guys get the point. That's something I'll have to look at a bit later. So yeah, just to recap on what we've done, we've created the cart items, the dynamically injected by JavaScript, and we can add them to cart, of which are being saved in our local storage. Of course, in the local storage, I'm not storing the entire object of the cart uh, of the shop item i'm just saving the index 
so I can reference it in the cart. So I add item and we got a cart. And here are the items. I can remove the items using what we did. Of course, this is not really helping me. <laughs> oh, I forgot to actually. Uh, this is not supposed to be a global variable. It's supposed to be a local variable. That's why it's giving me issues because it's supposed to go back to zero every time and not add on to what was already there. So that should fix our problem. So yeah, thanks for watching. If anything, leave a comment and I'll take a look about if you want more videos or if there is something you did not understand so I can clarify, leave a comment below and I'll get right on that. Thanks for watching.